Hello everybody and welcome back again to Mass Effect 3. We are still playing the Citadel DLC and I'm still in my apartment. And I just noticed that apparently the Volus doll that I won in that claw machine is now in my apartment as well. So that's a nice, nice little detail. Anyway, um, I still have more people to meet. So I think I, I would like to do this before I start the party. So, Cortez, I think he wanted to watch a sports game in my apartment along with James. So, sure, let's let's invite him. Sorry we're late. Somebody forgot to pick up the cerveza. <laughs> Come on in. That somebody was you. <laughs> Didn't say it was. So when's the game? It's about to start. Seattle Sorcerers versus Usaru Maestros. Gonna be some intense by out of all. Nah, it's just a goodwill game for troop morale. They'll take it easy. Hmm. I'm sure they will still play hard. In the middle of a war with their troops watching, they'll give it their all. Absolutely. Have you guys seen Derek Rogers' game lately? Man, he and the Sorcerers have been tearing it up. Hmm. Esteban, the Maestros don't lose. Have you seen Tyra Tassanis play? The woman is blue lightning. Mr. Vega, your love of the Asari team has more <laughs> to do with how they look than how they play. Hey, that's not true. Not entirely. Besides, <laughs> you're telling me you don't got the hots for some of the sorcerers? Okay, okay. Guilty as charged. Who are you backing, Shepard? Hmm. I don't know. I, I have I have no idea. <laughs> and uh, no clue about this game and, and the team, so please help me out. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Uh, the Seattle Sorcerers are one of the few human b-ball teams left. I mean, they were on tour when Earth was hit. Since acquiring Donna Novotny from the Hackers, they've been completely unstoppable. Yeah, but most of the Maestros have been playing since before First Contact. They'll win this. <laughs> I know the Sorcerers have never beaten the Maestros, but they've never been this hungry either. So, Shep, who's it gonna be? <laughs> human Sorcerers Asari Maestros. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let, let's go for the underdog, which apparently are the sorcerers in this case. You don't bet against the home team. <laughs> Mr. Vega, I hope you're hungry for humble pie. When has our commander ever been wrong? <laughs> Come on, man. The game started. Merda, he was out! You're blind, right? <laughs> oh, buddy, they did win. Yes, they did it! <laughs> now pay up. Hey, why didn't you let me in on the betting? We weren't exactly betting on who'd win. We were betting on if you'd pick the winner. <laughs> and everyone knows you don't bet against Shepard. Anyway, it was a hell of a game. Yeah, great evening. <laughs> Thank you, Shepard. My pleasure. Tomorrow comes early. Hasta luego. <laughs> All right. That was fun. <laughs> I I would have liked to actually see them play though, just just to get an idea of how how the game actually looks like. So a um, little bit disappointed that you didn't actually see the game. <laughs> anyway, um, we have we have more people um, to invite. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's invite Samara. I came as quickly as I could. <laughs> What's wrong? I didn't mean to worry you. When I saw you were on the Citadel, I wanted to see you again. We've said our farewells, Shepard. Are we going to stand on formalities? <laughs> yeah, These big so picture formal. windows remind me of our talks in the Normandy's observation lounge. This view doesn't have quite the same effect as a galaxy of stars, but I can see where it might make one sentimental. <laughs> I also enjoyed our talks, Shepard. Very much. Let's talk about you. Let's do something fun. Huh. I don't know. What what is Samara's idea of fun? I'm actually curious, so let's let's pick this. What should we do to take our mind off things for a couple of hours? Let's watch people. Justicars must have keen powers of perception. Testing them can be fun. <laughs> really? Yes. For example, the Turian there. The one limping. What do you suppose his story is? Huh. Well, he could be a soldier, yes. 
Injured in military service, probably. <clears throat> Except he doesn't wear it like a badge of honor. He seems ashamed. Whatever happened, I would guess he's an outcast. What about the two Volus? The ones whispering? What's in the case? They're related. Brothers, but also business partners. <laughs> the one on the left is a drunk and has put the family fortune in jeopardy through risky business dealings. <laughs> okay. But now the Blue Sons have kidnapped his wife. His brother has brought the ransom. 2.3 million credits. You can see all that. No, I made it up. <laughs> you see? Fun. Okay. Okay. The Elcor with the umbrella. Go. <laughs> Too easy, Shepard. <laughs> what about me, then? Too difficult. <laughs> I think that you are remarkable, Shepard. When the vids sing your praises and call you a hero, does it make you blush? Do you agree? What do you feel? <laughs> Well, I don't know. I guess it is nice, but ultimately it doesn't matter because so far I I still haven't saved the galaxy and the Reapers are still out there and until until that is done, I, I feel the praise isn't warranted. My confidence in myself and my team to get the job done is all that's important. What now? <laughs> I am content as we are, Shepard. Let us sit a while longer. Even if there is nothing to say. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. I I really enjoy these uh, small little talks with my companions and well, former companions. And now the window's closed again. Okay, but um, there's still I think Samantha wants to come over. So let's invite her as well. Specialist trainer. You sure you want to leave that here? I can't very well bring it back to the Normandy. I'd have nowhere to put it. This place is amazing. Puts the prefabs back on Horizon to shame. And it has a hot tub. <laughs> Go ahead. Cheers! <laughs> Right, she also used my shower back in my quarters, right? Apparently, she likes to have a oh, good bath. <laughs> this is lovely. And good for the sinuses. I might not even need my antihistamine tonight. <laughs> Your what? It's a pill. I'm allergic to dust and cats. <laughs> and public speaking. I take a proton pump inhibitor for my stomach, too. And an inhaler for asthma. Seriously? I didn't realize people still had conditions like that. No offense. None taken. My body's just this inconvenient thing I used <laughs> to carry my mind around. The colony where I grew up has limited resources. You only get gene therapy if you have a life-threatening condition. There was some scented bath oil out there somewhere. Could you grab it? <laughs> yeah. Here you go. Thanks. Eyes are over here and up here. <laughs> hey, do you have a loofah? A what? A loofah? This is Anderson's apartment, remember? I highly doubt he has a... Found one! Somebody left an overnight bag with toiletries and massage oils and... You know, girly stuff. Do you know who Kay Sanders is? Oh, okay. She has great taste in adjustable massage ones. <laughs> so, apparently, uh, Anderson had... Lady company in in his apartment. Well, at least somebody made good use of my uh, hot tub. <laughs> All right, I do have a new bed. It's white and nice and looks very cozy. Anyway, um, I think I have no other people to invite, but I think I I need to check on Grant because apparently he got arrested for whatever reason. And why is he on the Citadel anyway? The last time we saw him, we left him on that planet where we fought the Ragnai. Also, 
Cliff, do you have a bow tie? <laughs> I haven't, I haven't actually seen it until now. <laughs> Why do you have a bow tie? <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's head out to the Silver Sun Strip and uh, see if we can can find Grant. Also, um, what people from the l previous games have not met with me yet? I think I'm almost done with all of them. I mean, obviously Morden can't can't come. <laughs> we should have a memorial service for Morden as well. I think we haven't seen Jack so far. Looks exactly the same as the others. That's exactly the point. Yeah, they're still and talking about the car. Anyway, where do I have to difference. go? Right, Seasack Officer and Jacob. Um, apparently the Seasack Officer is right over here, so maybe we start with that. It didn't help that we had some brutal side objectives, but even then, we had to disable these Reaper indoctrination devices, and this crazy ex Cerberus Vanguard guy insists on <laughs> doing it. He's running all over the place getting killed, and I'm yelling at him, let me do it, I can close. <laughs> Infiltrate are good for devices. Or engineer with drone or decoy. Or me, because me don't die. <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay, um, fair enough. Let's talk to the officer. Officer, someone requested my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan? Right this way, Commander. <clears throat> <laughs> Noodle house. So, Grunt, anything you want to tell me about? <laughs> uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call, straighten this out. Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. Miss Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, <laughs> officer. Yes, ma'am. I would like to know what he has done, though. What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. So apparently you're all good again. But you were in that hospital recovering from the Rachni encounter. Oh, yeah. I see. Didn't feel like sticking around. <laughs> Most people stick around long enough to, you know, heal. Most people aren't me. <laughs> and why is CSEC here? Guess they're precious about some broken glass. <laughs> and was this the only thing that happened, just some broken glass, or did anybody get hurt? Before I sign you out, everybody walked away from this in one piece, right? Sure, yeah, everybody's fine. Hospital <laughs> seen better days, though. <laughs> right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday, <laughs> tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. It didn't work out. Okay. It's your birthday? No. I'm tank bread, remember? <laughs> anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the Presidium? <laughs> yeah. When CSEC got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. I can't remember. Why was it on fire? <laughs> I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong <laughs> oh, stuff. <laughs> Went up like a bonfire. The CSEC guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. <laughs> we didn't get very far before they shut us down. Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> didn't work so well on me. And why is that? Because I was on fire, you know, <laughs> from the car. Come on, Shepard, keep up. <laughs> right, sorry. sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> Alright, just because it's probably going to be hilarious, let's fabricate a story here. Let me handle this. Officer, this Krogan is part of a secret Spectre <laughs> task force. Operation Fire Cobra Claw. <laughs> Operation Fire Cobra Claw. That's right. I can take it from here. Send me the bill for any damages. <laughs> That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. <laughs> you won't. Thank you, officer. Blatant abuse of my authority. 
So, how were those noodles? A little spicy. <laughs> I love you, Brad. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Well glad I could help you, Brunt. And I mean you may not have a birthday, but I mean you did hatch from the tank at a specific day. So you could celebrate like your hatch day, right? And I mean technically it could be like a year ago that I, you know took you out of the tank, so it would be your first hatch day, I suppose. Anyway, um, alright, uh, apparently Jacob is in the castle arcade, so let's check Later, there that next. Later, server's vanguard picks up a backpack, gets halfway back to the pickup zone, loses his shields. So what does he do? He charges. <sighs> no charge. Charge make backpack drop. Yes, everyone knows that. <laughs> so if you're going to charge or cloak or something, don't pick up the backpack. <laughs> And you should have seen him when we were supposed to bunker down and upload some intel. Then got charge away. Upload go slow. <laughs> team. I think they're talking about the multiplayer um, games because I think one of the mission uh, involves taking a backpack and, and bringing it to a, a certain place. All right. Apparently, um, this is where I meet Jacob. So um, let's do this. Hey, Shepard, over here. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. What's up? Out for a little R&R. &R. You? Exactly. Same thing. <laughs> hey, Jacob. I'm out of credits. <laughs> Who are they? Their parents are MIA. Volunteered to take them on for the weekend, get their minds off things. What about us, Shepard? There's got to be a game of skill in there with our names on it. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, sure, I'm in. Let's do it. Great. So, what are we going to play, Jacob? Oh, this one. This is your game of skill? <laughs> now, Shepard, I'll try not to embarrass you. <laughs> really? Trash talk at Shattered Ezo? <laughs> Hell yeah, my pride is on the line. Also, these kids look up to me, so I have to take you down. You're gonna take <laughs> me down? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, step up, Shepard. Although it might be tough not having your squad to carry you. <laughs> You're on. Ooh. No pressure, Shepard. These people already idolize you. So when you choke, it won't matter. Hey, hey you're crowding me? <laughs> Am I? My bad. Stand back, everyone. Shepard needs extra room to make the magic happen. <laughs> Ready? Let's do this. All right, all right. Glad none of your friends are here to see your humiliation. Uh, well, we'll see about that. Is that all you got? <laughs> come on, come on, come on! Yes! Is that all you got? I'm not doing so that bad until you now. Feel is me kicking your ass. Nice one. Nice one. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, Eris is competitive. She she plays to win, yeah! Jacob. Commander Shepard wins. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. You know, if if she's if she's going to play a game and if you're going to challenge her to a game, she's going to give it all she has. So yeah, I couldn't hold back. And that's how it's done, kids. <laughs> you couldn't just let me win just once? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Come on, Shepard. Let's grab some food. I'm buying. <laughs> Sorry, Jacob. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> All right. All right. So, a little fun with Jacob. Um. Okay, so there is nothing on my map. So, can we expect more Elcor Shakespeare from you? Actually, I'm mounting a production of Macbeth with a new Krogan talent as the lead. He brings a raw brutality to the stage that emphasizes the ruthless actions of his character. Sounds like inspired <laughs> casting. I like to think I have an eye for talent. Yes, I know. This This is uh, the director of the Elko Theatre. I, I do remember his name. <laughs> So you're the genius behind behind this, um, well, uh, 
idea. Anyway, I, I suppose I could go back to my apartment and um, see if I get any new invitations. Informative. With the production of friends, yeah, I already spoke to that guy. But um, I think I'm going to look around this place a little bit more and yes, um, if I, I find anything new, met, I will bring you back. Otherwise, I will I will head back so um, to the apartment. What do you want to do? Really? No, no, I'm not making fun of you. The arcade sounds great. You win me a stuffed toy? Huh. Now it sounds even better. I can't wait till tomorrow either. All right. All right, I'm in the Amex arena now and I figured that, you know what? Why not have like one uh, battle in the combat simulator on camera and I may come back later here and uh, fight a few more of these battles but let's, let's do one um, on camera and see what we can do here oh, what is this email welcome to your AAA experience welcome to the Armex arena where the danger is fake but the excitement is real New athletes can challenge the Cerberus and Geth enemy sets at the foot soldier level. Additional layouts, enemies and ally licenses can be purchased from the Amex store on the main level of the arena. Yeah, I already saw that. Completing any match awards a bronze, silver or gold prize depending on your point totals. These prizes are redeemable at the arena store for credits or to unlock play options. Bonus points can be acquired by finishing the match quickly, capturing bonus objectives, kill streaks, or taking vo voluntary handicaps. Voluntary advantages can be taken, but these reduce the final score. Alright. I see how this works. Uh, level select. Wingman. Blasteroid. Spin Zone Primeval. The Amex Classic. Um, I don't know. Let's take the first one. Enemy select. Cerberus, Geth, Reapers, Collectors. Collectors? Wow. <laughs> and Mirror Match. And Random Enemy. Well, you know me. I like punching Cerberus in the face. So let's select Cerberus. Challenge select. So what do we got here? We'll Foot Soldiers, to. Elites, Super Elites. And random challenge. Well, I can only pick the foot soldiers, apparently. And score modifiers. I don't have any of them at the moment, because I have to unlock them. I see. And ally select. Oh, I see. Um, I can pick my team here. But currently I only have the ones that... Well, are part of this game. Um, well, you know, I have a fondness for Liara and Kaden as a team. So, I think I think we're ready to go, right? Uh, save and exit. And okay, now I have to. I know I have to enter the combat simulator. All right, um, let's do this. The Amex Arena uses state-of-the-art weapon simulators to produce an exciting near-combat experience. The weapon impacts are, in reality, just mild electrical feedback or firm taps from internal mass effect fields. The game itself is as complex as any real encounter. New athletes can only challenge the Cerberus and Geth enemy sets at the foot soldier level. Additional layouts, enemies and ally licenses can be purchased from the Armex store on the main level of the arena. Completing any match awards the prize in the arena store depending on your point totals. Okay, I see. The more points, the better the prize. If the match finishes in under 5 Earth Standard Minutes, there is a bonus of 200 points. A bonus capture objective appears between rounds that is worth 200 points each time. Killstreak bonuses will accrue whenever a player takes out enemies within 5 seconds of the last kill. The value of a killstreak increases significantly for each additional kill, up to a maximum of 10 kills. Each voluntary handicap adds 10 to 20% of the final score. Each voluntary advantage reduces the final score by 10%. But I don't actually have any that I can use at the moment, right? So. Um, this is kind of pointless. See you in the sim, the Yamaks as an arena team. Alright, alright, I think I know how this works. Oh, I can... Um, 
pick my weapons over here, but I mean, I, I feel I should be fine. I use my standard lo loadout, it's always working well for me. So, let's see how difficult this is. Ladies and gentlemen, it's combat night in the Armax Arsenal Arena. <laughs> but my companions aren't actually real, they're just, um, <laughs> projections, right? That's kind of funny. Um, anyway, let me change up my skill bar. I do want an overload and I do want Reeve. And the rest can stay as Five, it is. Four, three, two, one. Starting round one. Oh, whoa, they they just appeared right in front of me. <laughs> Alright, um, let's see. So, these are just normal Cerberus troops, right? And there is a grenade a bit too close to comfort for my taste. Um, yeah, let me kill this guy first. And get into some cover. Huh. All right, so um, they kind of kind of got a jump on me because they materialized right in front of me. All right, they're going down. And so will you. All right. Five, so, four, three, oh. Two, oh, I see. This is this is where they're going to spawn. All right. One, round two. Well, we have a bit of a warning now, so this should make things easier. <laughs> Kill streak. Yep. And. How about a grenade? Kill streak. And another Five. one. Yep, this it's much easier this way if you know where Seven. they're going to, to spawn. <laughs> I see you over and there. Round two. Huh. Oh, there's a bonus over mm. there. Maybe I can can Five, grab that thing. Four, three, two, hang on, hang on, one. I want to grab the bonus! Ah, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I need to be faster if I want to grab the bonus in time. Okay, now they're coming from over here. I see. Huh. Um. I think they're coming down this ramp over here, right? Yes. Detonate that singularity over there. Alright. Oh, you have a shield. Let's get rid of that. Very nice. Um. Who are you over there? Huh. Oh, oh, I, I see you. I see you over there. Let me deal with you before you take us from the side. Um, I see a centurion over here. Going to get some cryo... No, not cryo ammo. I want the disruptor ammo for you. And I think you're already using the warp ammo. Alright. Alright. You are dead. Right and three more guys over here. Let me get a little bit closer. And this is ammo, right? Yes, it is. Very nice. All right, let's do this. That goes to Shepherd. <laughs> All right, I see. 
Challenge summary. Time bonus under 5 minutes. 200 capture objective bonus. Yeah, I didn't get the bonus. Highest kill streak 8. Modifier bonus 8%. Kill streak bonus 12,215. Alright, it's silver rating at least. I, I can I can live with that. <laughs> okay. Emotional consideration is brought to you by the Alliance News Network. Your galaxy, your news. Hmm. Well, this wasn't uh, a tough challenge, I guess, because, you know, just some Cerberus ground troops. But, yeah, let me let me see if I can can buy a nice um, price for it. So, um, I, I mean, I would be most interested in the, in the ally licenses because this includes people that aren't actually in this game, like, you know, uh, Kasumi. Uh, I, well, they were in the game, but not as an actual, you know, combat companion. So this is actually a chance to to fight with some of the people from from Mass Effect 2 again. But apparently I need I need to win some bronze prizes for that. So I I need to be a little bit less good at it so that I can get the, the bronze prize or or what? Oh, I can actually convert to bronze prizes. Well, this could be interesting. Or I can convert it to credits. Um, of course, if I if I get some modifiers, it it will help me to collect more points. I feel I should probably get the elite challenge because I feel that the the easiest challenge is probably too easy for me. So let's get this, so we can collect more points in the future. And I may I may try to uh, grab some of these prizes later. But yeah, and not 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 today. So I will just uh, uh, look around this place a little bit more, and if I find anything, I will I will bring you back. Oh, look at this! Wait for Joker. Well, this is interesting because. I, I don't think I got an invitation for this, and it's not on my map, so yeah, sure, let's do this. I was here when Cerberus attacked, and I don't remember seeing you. <laughs> I think I caught a glimpse of Commander Shepard fighting over by the elevator bay, though. Well, yeah, Shepard was protecting the council, but I had my own problems to deal with. <laughs> you see, I was down by the docking bay near CSEC headquarters. Ha-ha! <laughs> Commander Shepard is chasing the council! <laughs> this is our chance! <laughs> oh shit! Cerberus! Ha ha ha! It's Joker! He can <laughs> barely walk! How's he going to stop us? <laughs> I, I like his impression of the Cerberus troops. <laughs> Like this. It's joking time. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, we were fools to underestimate Joker. Oh no! Oh yes, my god. <laughs> you were. Oh my god. Is this your Batman voice, Joker? <laughs> That's you right! You just landed on the island of Dr. Me! <laughs> what? That doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> and that's pretty much how it happened. Which is why you should comp my drinks. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, come on! I barely believe what they're saying about Shepard. You? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, trying not to be offended there. Look, if Shepard were here... <laughs> uh, Shepard! Hi! Hey! That was an interesting story, um, and it's totally true. Absolutely all of it. I, I, can, I, can, I can vouch for it. I'm Commander Shepard, and I'll vouch for my pilot. <laughs> Jeff Morrow is a hero. Everyone in this room owes him their lives, myself included. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Commander. I had no idea. Drinks are on me, Lieutenant. Ah. Uh, thanks, Commander. 
<laughs> you can pay me back later. <laughs> right. Just helping out a friend. <laughs> well, that that was um unexpected. So What can I get for you? You still have no drinks for me, right? Um Well I suppose I will dance a little bit and then uh, continue my, my look around this place because apparently there is some, some stuff you can find that isn't actually on the map and stuff. Alright, I am back in my apartment after finding nothing else of interest on the Silver Sun Strip. And yeah, guess what? I have a new message. So let's check this out. Um, well, it's actually three of them. It's mom, please call. <laughs> From Hannah Shepard, sweetheart. It's been a long time since we spoke. Too long. Admiral Hackett recruited me to work on the Crucible. Maybe you knew that, I don't know. But that's where you'll find me. Could you call me, please, when you get a chance? I would love to talk to you, mom. <laughs> oh, that is nice. I, I love that they acknowledge the fact that she has a mother and that, you know, sometimes you can, well, not interact with her, but you at least get a message from her. That's really nice. Combat Sim from Jack. Shep, I hear the Silver Sun Strip place has a combat simulator and I felt like kicking the crap out of something. Get your ass down here if you're game. Well, I've just been at the combat simulator, but of course I, I will go there again just for you, Jack, because she was actually one of the companions from the last game that were still missing, so yeah. Pencil me in from Irena Lawson. Shepard, care for a night out? Let's get dressed up and meet at the casino. I'll be on... The one in red. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Mirena wants to meet too. All right. Um, well, but I think uh, this episode is long enough now, so I'm I'm going to make a cut here. And apparently, we have more people to meet before we can actually start the party. So yeah, we're going to do that in the next episode. So thank you for watching, and see you again next time. <laughs>